Hi, I'm Stephanie and this is my home, the 16th century Chateau de Lalande. Lalande was owned for hundreds of years by a family of marquises who were at the heart of French royal life. One of them even had the honour of being sent by King Louis XV to greet Marie Antoinette on her arrival in France. But, far from being a stuffy museum, this chateau is a living home. I live here all the time and I'm regularly joined by my mother, my family, my friends and wonderful volunteers from all over the world who help me to lovingly restore this historic home. Welcome to La Lande, a chateau filled with life, love and laughter. I've just woken up in the guest house of the Chateau de la Bamigne. It's such a gorgeous room. I stayed here the very, very first time I visited. And look at the beautiful view outside my window. The roses. Oh, look at this one. I wonder if anyone is up yet. And this is the bedroom. And you can't quite tell from this, but it's got beautiful silk wallpaper. It's just extraordinary and so, so soft. And there's an absolutely huge bathroom. With a lovely view. In fact, we can see more of the chateau from the bathroom. I think Michael's learning to use a drone. Hello. Hello, Stephanie. Are you learning to use a drone? I thought I heard it! Bye! Nice Bye. to meet you! <laughs> Do you want to have a fly? Oh, awesome! <laughs> i better get dressed quickly maybe first. Okay, yeah, probably a good idea. I quickly got dressed so I can join them. Let's see if we can find them and have fun with that drone. A cup of tea for you, Stephanie. Oh, now that is a beautiful sight first thing in the morning. We've even got your breakfast cup that's 112 years old. Well, it's, it's exactly 112 years no, old. actually it's 108 years old. No, 1912. Wow, are you serious? Year, you know exactly year, the year? Same year the Titanic sank. It's gorgeous. <laughs> it's absolutely gorgeous. Where did you get these? eBay. Love eBay. <laughs> I used to go crazy on eBay. I had a teapot. It was, the set, it was identical, but it was huge. Like... What happened? Yeah, my brother Justin, um, he's got cerebral palsy and he used to live with me in England um, and we didn't have much money then and he needed a, like a phone because mm -hmm. he can't talk. So he needed a phone to, you know, contact people, uh, like an iPhone. So I sold my antique teapot to buy him a phone. Well, it was worth it. Beautiful. Worth it, but it was worth £500. Far better that he had a phone. Oh, far better, yeah. He still has it, I think, actually. Really? He's got a new one now, but he still has it. If anybody has got a teapot that's identical to this, but a large one, a big large one i will i will ha gl gladly buy it from you but um i i sold it years ago and i've not been able to find another one since no you're not allowed to buy it i want to buy it because i no, want to give it to I will you buy it but I we're gonna to argue about it. this no ryan wants to buy it <laughs> <laughs> okay ryan you can buy it for him <laughs> okay yeah, I agree. for his birthday if he's a good boy <laughs> Michael just told me something super interesting about this, and I think you should tell all of you. Well, it's, it's unusual that you can actually see signs of the, war, um, the World Wars uh, in pottery. This is pre-First World War, so at that time, gold wasn't scarce. Uh, so as you can see, all of these gold bands on here, they're all gilt, uh, and this crisscross lattice pattern, that's gilt as well. But during the First World War, gold was scarce. So they had to take the gilding off of these. They continued the manufacture, but they took the gold off and they replaced it with, um, here you can see it's brown. It's just a brown crisscross lattice. Now I don't have any that were made during the First World War. Because it was all brown. It was all brown. There was no gold on it at all. But then after the First World War, they reintroduced the um, this gold line. They put the gold line back. So that's why that one's got just gold lines? Just gold lines, but then it's got the and brown the lattice. lattice. is brown. But after that, they never replaced the full, fully gilt um, pattern. Well, uh, I've learned something new so, today. So, so only the ones made before the First World War have got the crisscross lattice on them. So these are quite rare. So they're made before 1917. Well, I didn't know my breakfast was coming in such a swanky thing today. Well, this one is 1912. Do you know what it is making the tea taste better? Yeah, it does. <laughs> Don't worry, Steph. I flew it earlier and I didn't crash it. Great, that's just adding to the pressure. Mm-hmm. They've got collision avoidance. 
from quite a few different angles, haven't they, Dan? It took me three times to pass my driving. Front and back collision avoidance. <laughs> <That is. laughs> uh, it's got front and back when you're flying it normally. It's unlikely that it will hit something. Yeah, you've got to, you've got to really try. Okay. If you want to break it, you got to really try. It. There you go, Steph. Right, here you try go. and break it. Right. <laughs> you slide it over, and it will, it will hover a little bit, and then okay. just whack this one right up. Oh. Yeah, to raise okay. the drain. Straight up, yep. <laughs> up. Yes. Down. Yes. Forwards. Yes. Backwards. Yes. And then sideways. Left and right. Sideways, yeah. How's it going, Steph? This is really exciting. There's a chateau. Okay, I found a chateau. It was surprisingly hard. <laughs> so I think at the moment it's recording whatever's on that screen. Yeah, and I'm going to move it backwards. We're moving! <laughs> So pan the camera pan up. up. There you go. So now you're an expert, you can fly with my drone. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're sorted now. We're fine. Oh my goodness, think of the footage. Yeah, it's going to take a little bit of a while to get it to be smooth, to get used to it. Yeah, that. I mean, it, but it, it, but it's it does great. Just, you know, like anything, it just takes practice. Yeah. You have to land it on this picnic bench here, Stephanie. Joking? That's the challenge of the oh, day. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> I mean, landing it at all is, is going to be a miracle. Okay, just coming down over there. What amazing technology. It's like a little creature. It's like a big wasp. Yeah, it is, isn't it? So it's going to go forward. A little bit more to the left. Hang on, let me come and have a look from over there. Move forward a tiny bit. It worked. Oh! Up, 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 up. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> you crashed I it, Steph. that was going to happen. Sorry, drone. <laughs> Epic fail. Oh, don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, it's fine. Can it cope with a little, yeah, with a little yeah. bow? Yeah, it only landed on the Hasselblad uh, lens. It's yeah, fine. Yeah, I just saw Hasselblad as I looked at it. I was like, oh dear, oh dear. You're going to have to get one now, Steph. Oh, we know what Michael's next photo is. I know, actually really, really will have yeah. to. I'll say it to Michael, if you do, get the Mavic Air 2. There you go, Steph. You're a drone operator now. Then I can drive my own drone, which will feel more comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> I've just looked up how we're supposed to do this, Michael. Hey, Mummy's insisting on the cuttings. Apparently only new growth from this year. So it has to be like the more green stems. Yes, That's not, fine. not, and 25 centimetres long. That's about that. Yeah. That. Leave one leaf, usually. One leaf, one leaf at the top and all the other leaves have to be removed. Okay, Let's which ones do you see. want? I actually really like this one. This is a great colour. Look at that. Oh, look at that rose. Yeah. So we've got one. That's a cutting. All right, let's get some I more. Believe, I think, do you want another cutting of this? No, 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 let's, let's leave it at one of each. Otherwise we're gonna completely decimate your roses. Oh, calm down. <laughs> okay, we'll take one from the others. The ones I really like, all the yellowy ones that you've got yeah, along we'll there. And anything that smells particularly delicious, mummy loves scented roses. This one's gorgeous. Look at that rose. Oh, this one smells really good. That colour is stunning. That peachy yellow and pink. Oh, gorgeous. Thorns. Ah. Thorns. Oh, my finger. ouch. See, mummy, we're really getting injured for you here. A bud. So, oh, I'm going to have to <gasps> cut the rose off. Oh, no. You're going to keep it? Yeah. It's too beautiful. There you go, that's for you. Thank you. Stephanie, you have to smell these now. Oh, really? Really? Smell them, honestly. Now that's what mummy was talking about. Yes. No, don't take that one with all of those on. There's two, no, 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 it's too beautiful. Take, take it. Look, so there's a small, but they've, they've a small all one. Got, they've all got a head on. They've all on. got buds. We'll have to sacrifice the flowers to get the cuttings. Well, if you take the whole of the top off in one go, we can put it in a vase. I've done. I've taken the top off. Oh, they're amazing. They are amazing. That is typical rose smell, mm. and it's really strong. We're not doing anything bad because see these really tall ones. Yeah, they're too tall. They need to come off. It needs to be more. We bushy. need to encourage it to be more bushy. But this tall one can come off. It still hurts me to watch. Now that is the finest colour. Look at the purity of that yellow. Oh yes, 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 yes. The size of that. Thank you, sir. Look at the size of the leaves. <laughs> it's huge. Yeah, leave those leaves. I leave. hope that these work. I hope they work. Oh, because just imagine the roses we'll have at La Land. 
I think they're a very, very, very pretty red. They're more, I would call it a coral. Yes, agreed. I love coral. We've taken a couple of cuttings from this gorgeous rambling rose. It's all the way along this wall. Oh, before leaving to go back to La Lande, I am so happy to be able to come and look at Michael's future cottage and also pinch a cutting of the roses outside it because they are exquisite. Look at that. Let's go have a look. Sadly, I can't go upstairs at the moment. Half the stairs have disappeared, but it's lovely to see it at this stage. It's actually bigger than I imagined, Michael. Yeah. It's going to be gorgeous. And there's a beautiful view of the greenhouse from the window. I love this greenhouse. Oh my goodness, the size of the tomatoes already. And the lettuces. It is beautiful. This cottage is going to be the most idyllic home for Michael imaginable. So we're all packed up. I can't believe we're leaving. I'm this going to Lalonde. Quick visit. Really quick, literally less than 24 hours. You know you seriously need a laptop, Michael, right? You, you know that. This is, this is if I, want I mean, to, this is not if very- If I want to make videos while, <laughs> while I'm away from the chateau, this is, um, it served me well. I, uh, I worked 16 hour days last summer. Well, no, the summer, two years ago, two summers ago. Yeah. To pay for that. And it's done me, done me very well. Oh, it's a superb, but, but yeah, a laptop. Michael, come on, every time we go anywhere, we have to take that. <laughs> So maybe I'll buy a laptop. Bye bye. Thank you so so much. It's been amazing. And come to La Land. It's beautiful, beautiful. Oh, I knew you'd love them. Oh wow. Oh, I'm going to do my best to make them grow. They are beautiful. The scent. Yes, that's what I knew you'd love. Oh, but they are superb. And there's something else that's superb on this table. It's Marie's spread. Look at this. Beautiful. Marie, it's spectacular. Thank you. Thank you. It was uh, to welcome you. Thank you. How does this work? What is this? It's a little fruity. A uh, little parcel of puff pastry. Puff pastry, yes. And what's inside? Uh, ham and cheese. Very simple. And the other one is chorizo, spinach and champignon. I should go away more often because what this is amazing to come home to. So you've made your own elderflower. Yeah, I did try. So let's see how yes, that tastes. Absolutely. But, uh, it's not very syrupy anymore. I put it in the madeleine actually. So yes. when when can we try it? How long until we can try it? Uh, yeah, no, we bought some cremant because we wanted to be. Oh, we're going we to try. Not, we will not put that in. No, with Bollinger. No, that that uh, would be but a I travesty. Cremant, so we can try that. Actually. Yes. Thank you very okay. much. They look so good. Are these the ones with spinach and chorizo? Mm -hmm. I was only gone for one day, but I missed all of you. All right, don't all answer at once. We miss you too. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Antoine said that the chateau so was not the same without you, so... Thank you, Antoine. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Antoine. <laughs> You can't win, can you? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Michael, yes. And to the safe Welcome, return of the great traveller who left for an epic 24 hours. <laughs> and cheers. Poor mummy is social distancing. It's okay. Because Michael and I have obviously been very far away. I'm not so. quite sure where Ma Michael has been. No one ever knows where Michael's been. <laughs> <laughs> Never, neither do I, to be honest. <laughs> Cheers, Mummy. Cheers, Michael. Welcome. Cheers. The ham ones are so, mm. so good. Mm. Oh. Mm. <laughs> oh, you've got little flowers in it. Oh. Right. I don't know how much are you supposed to put Not in. Not very much, I reckon. Well. Oh, and we get an ice cube as well. This is exciting. Yeah. What? <laughs> yes, Antoine, it's happening. It's a mix. It's real and it's now. What? Elderflower cocktail. Ooh. With madeleines with elderflower syrup. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, well, let's try. Oh, we better not in madeleine. I'll grab a madeleine in a sec. Thanks, Marie. Oh, cheers. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Mm. 
Mm. It's the best one I've ever had. I know Michael's in the chateau now. The cocktail shaker's out. We didn't even know where the cocktail shaker was. It took us ages to find it. And look at that. You unearthed it. I found it. And the ice. That's where I left it probably about four months ago. <laughs> <laughs> the whole house is going to bed and Michael is getting ready to stay up all night editing his video for tomorrow. Well, I don't normally put one out on a Sunday. Yeah. But I am this week. And we've been travelling all day. We've been travelling all day, so... Sorry, I thought I stepped on a beetle and I freaked out. That's why the camera panned, but it was a crisp. It's all good. So I'm going to have an espresso martini. That'll keep me awake all night. I think it's going to be a good one. Oh, um, maybe I'll have just a little taste. And also, Michael found this one martini glass, which we'd bought together. We found three of them in Imaus, the local charity shop, and I gave two to Michael Potts for Christmas. And Michael's just found the lonely third one. It's now gonna be his martini glass in the house. Well, I remember when you bought these from Michael Potts, I was quite jealous, because- I didn't know that. I quite like them myself. <laughs> but just me, so I can have one. Yeah. You've got your froth. Yeah, it's there. There you go. Beautiful. Espresso martini. You know how to make a good espresso martini. That is delicious. I'll try it. I don't even know what it tastes like. Mmm. Not bad. Really good. That's going to keep you up tonight. Mm. You'll have the best vlog ever it's, tomorrow. It's better if you put the vodka in the freezer. Yeah. I then bet. it goes like almost like a thick syrup. Syrupy. Oh, mm. yum. And it's really cold. Okay, I'm going to show you to your room. You've never slept in this room before. It's a whole new one for you. Never. Show me. Michael isn't staying in the room that is going to be his in the future because it needs so much work. So whilst he's here this time, oh, where's the light? Whilst he's here this time, we will work on the decoration of it, which is really exciting. You're in Perse. Perse, which means Persian room. Persian. And the light, oh, wow, there's a nice little sunset actually, just the end of it. Oh, wow. I didn't realize the window was open in here. Wow. Oh, it must be mummy. Oh, oh mummy. That's so beautiful. That, that, that is spectacular. Yes. It's huge. Yeah, that is gorgeous. That's the most beautiful peony I've ever seen. Is that a repayment for the roses that I got her? It must be. <laughs> the cuttings. So you're going to be okay in here. Where are you going to set up the computer? Um, well, here, I think. Would it work here? I don't see why not. Is there a plug here? Yeah, there? there's plugs there. There's, there's the Wi-Fi. You're right there. next to the Wi-Fi. Yeah. Put the computer there. It's quite yeah. thin. In there is a whole other bedroom, which I'm presuming you don't need. We're about to do work in there. That's um, Diz Oiseau. Oh, you haven't seen my upholstered beds. Of course I've seen them. Well, you've seen them on the vlog. On the <laughs> it doesn't vlog. count. <laughs> and they're lined up with the pattern on the wall. We do that sometimes when we're feeling super geeky. Very nice. You did a good job. Thank you. It only took you how long to do both beds? I don't want to talk about it. Is it a year or something? <laughs> <laughs> Mummy is spoiling you. She's given you tissues and little products. Radisson Blue. <laughs> you can tell that they come from hotels we've been to. Essential shampoo. Lotion. Wash. <laughs> I like this little cabinet. Oh, and the bath. I want one of these baths in my, um, my cottage. You have to, yes. But um, I need to find one at a good price. Because if you buy them... Yeah, they're ridiculous. The place, yeah. You're going to pay thousands for them. Yeah. But sometimes you can find them for just a few hundred. If you are, and then do some work to them yourself. Do some work to them yeah. yourself, yeah. Well, I'm going to leave you to settle in. I'm going to get an early night and you're going to start a whole night of work. Yes. And as you go to sleep, I'll be starting. Okay. We're like ships in the night. <laughs> come find me though. I will come find you. Bring a cup of tea if I'm up before you. Thanks. <laughs> It's Michael's first morning waking up at La Lande on this trip, so I thought I'd take him a cup of tea, partly to get him out of bed because he's as bad as me about getting up in the morning. So if either one of us can make it to the tea station, then we quite often take the other person a cup of tea to try and wake them up as well. 
I'm going to take these up now. You might notice I got my Royal Copenhagen mug back. I went online and got another one. So mummy can break this one next. <laughs> uh, I have a, a bucket of tea for you. Oh, oh, lovely. Twinings Assam. Oh. And we need to do another big order of tea. Oh, this is the one you got from... This is the one you ordered from... from British the, Corner the British Shop, Corner I think Shop. it's called. Yeah, we'll that. look later and get do another big British order. I'm so tired. Did you sleep well? No, not really. You no, never I, sleep well. I slept well once I fell asleep. Yeah, I know. How how long did you stay up editing? Uh, oh well. I need to do some today. With nice tea. Mm. Cuttings were oh, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Oh, they're the cuttings from Bamin, yeah. I'm so looking forward to see if they will go. Hang on, this one is cut a bit. No, I need to cut it again. Just oh, just below the um, bud or the node. Yes, just no. below. Oh, okay. And then what I do is this. I bruise it. Okay. On two inches, about roughly. Okay. Like that. I'm giving you the theory, of course. The practice will be to know if it works or not. A dip in the water. Yeah. What's that? I'm too lazy to uh, put the powder elsewhere. Oh, is it um, rooting hormone? Hormone, root, hormone rooting powder. Yeah. And then I've made previously a hole here. Wonderful! Like that. And gently I push against it. And um, I don't think I need all of the leaves. I'll just leave two. I know what ones they are. They're a large, very large um, yellow rose. Oh. And they have, um, they have very little thorns. Yes, I noticed. And very long, straight stems. That, that's so wonderful. So they're quite good for both Flower arranging. Flower arranging, yeah, those ones. Yes. Thank you very much. Oh, look. Look, my assistant. Yeah. He's, um, <laughs> as I do this, he does yes. that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. So you put that over. It's got very big leaves, that one, that rose. But I could cut a leaf off or two, but that's it's perfect. fine. That's fine. And I'll put it on a north-facing wall. Yeah. And outside. Yeah. They're all outside, waiting for this one. And these two are waiting also for their little hat. A two-litre bottle would be better than a yeah. one-litre, but we have to do with what we have. So this is my system. Yeah. In eight weeks or so, I, I won't be here, I suppose, yeah. there should be roots. Yeah. It's They can be left in that pot yeah. with a little of um, food around it uh -huh. because then they would need a bit of uh, sustenance. Yeah. And then um, and next year, in the spring or at the end of the winter, yeah. they put in place. Wow. So Dan has got a lot of work. Because I have these left. Wow, to do. there's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I have to find more bottles. <laughs> How many have you done so far? And I've already done about 12. Oh, really? Yes. So there's got to be at least, what, 30 there? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it be wonderful if they grew? Oh, I hope so. If they could fit in uh, beer bottles, it would be easier. Yeah. <laughs> There'll be more. There'll be more. There'll be more. Be more, yeah. more. <laughs> the good thing is that the cuttings, yes. well, they're free, aren't they? They're just free to share with your with totally. friends. Totally. Yeah. But totally. I mean, how um, much is a rose bush to buy? Some of them can be quite expensive rose bushes, and some of these are David Austin. Lovely. So they're and some of them are English roses and. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Wonderful. Yeah. Ah. There you go. I'm very happy. <laughs> yeah. Right, I'll leave you to it then. Yes, thank you. Thank you for this gift. Oh, you're very welcome. <laughs> so you've spent the entire day cleaning this? Yes, but in the, this morning it was uh, in the shadow, so I thought, mm, that is nice. And but I just finished. So hot, <laughs> now how? What a beautiful job you've done. All of the weeds are gone. Yeah, on the end there was wow. a lot of moss. So now you're having a well-deserved beer. Yes, I'm going to sit in uh, <laughs> with a few over the lake. Wonderful. Beer and cheese. Enjoy. <laughs>
A huge thank you to all of our patrons at Lalande who are making this vlog possible, especially our Marquis and Marquis of Lalande. Alice Allen, Daniela, Dorothea B, Dan Banda, Danel Banakovic, Jason and Valerie Best, Veronica Castillo, Sakura Dennis, Laura Demare, Dotti, Anna Farmery, Caroline Furster, Brenda Gibbons, Brenda Harris, Anthony Hindmarsh, Laura O'Keefe, Helen Jacobs, Yadeland, Jimmy Kemp, David and Summer Lalande, Shannon Maitland, Kathy Norrie, JC O'Ward, Maureen Palmer, Bettina Rojek, Barbara Schmelzer, Sven Schreiber, Patty Suhu, Sarah Thornton, Colleen Troyer, Brand Walton, Aaron Windish, Brian Woodward, and David Young. And thank you to all of you.